I'm going to try to hurry up and make this video because it is almost 100 degrees out in Michigan. And I don't want my phone to overheat or else it's not going to work. So we have two of the small um, new drinks because both of these, I don't know about the prices at y'all's place, but my Starbucks, it was almost $10. By the way, no one gives a shit, but my cute shirt and bra are from Parade, my favorite store ever for clothes. I will have them linked in my description and you get 20% off if you use my code. I get nothing out of it, but you get 20% off. Anyways, so this is the uh, Passion Fruit Pineapple Refresher. This is what she looks like. This is actually a perfect thing to have in 96 degree Michigan weather. And then this is the Paradise Drink. They did have a lemon, or no, not lemon, but lime, like coconut drink, not drink, bar. But that was sold out for the day. I don't know about like other Starbucks, but I feel like every time I go into a Starbucks, if I don't like try and get a baked good or whatever item before like one, then everything's like basically gone. So my guess is that they don't actually keep a whole lot of like inventory on hand when it comes to like the food items. But yeah, I like coconut milk, but not gonna lie, the top doesn't look very appealing. I mean, it could be because of like the fruit chunks and stuff, but this one's pretty. Does anyone else think that, like, Dunkin' and Starbucks, like, the drinks are way too similar. Like, the refresher drinks, I'm, like, 99% sure Dunkin' has a pineapple passion fruit refresher. Or something, they have a pineapple refresher for sure. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Hmm. I mean, it's refreshing, but it's got like kind of a weird tang to it. Like, I don't know if I was expecting that. It's definitely not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. I think that's what threw me off. And then the Paradise Drink. Oh. Hmm. That's good. That's really good. Would I spend almost $5 on it again? Probably not, but it's good. I almost think the coconut was the thing that this was missing. Like if this had coconut in it, I actually think I'd really like it. So I like this. I give this a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give this, I'm gonna be bold and give it like a seven. There's just, something off about it. I almost think the issue was that the pineapple was like so strong where that was like the only thing I could taste. So yeah, I think that's why I didn't like it. I guess if you really, really love pineapple, then you would probably like that, but you don't really taste you, much else. It wasn't just me. I had my boyfriend try it and he said that the pineapple drink had like a weird bitterness to it, which is exactly what I was thinking. So yeah, thankfully I'm not the only one who thought that because I was like, What's going on here?